Hello. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. I, I wasn't due to do a video, but every channel on the television is sport, and I do not like sport. I'm fed up with tennis, but I can't play tennis, so I thought, I've got to do a video, something to do, and to tell a little story, which is a very strange little story that happened to me yesterday. I still haven't really worked it out. So it's called, I think it's called Myster Mysterious Spirits. And it's just very strange because I've been feeling a bit low the last two or three days and I thought, should I cancel the appointment in town? It's about a 15 mile drive to the opticians, which I've got to go. Should I cancel it? And I was just mulling it over. I hate cancelling things. It's such a performance. So anyway, um, I went to bed, had a lie down in the afternoon and in the evening I saw there was a message on the phone and I definitely said it was a very, it was a woman's voice kind of slow and deliberate saying would you please phone us back to let us know for us to cancel your appointment now she definitely used the word cancel and i was then in a fix i could they weren't there when i phoned back they'd closed so i had to wait all night i was worried all night about this my mind went a W O L. I, it was incredible. I never realised just what the mind can do left to its own devices because I didn't know why she asked me to cancel it. What I thought initially is I'd been to the other optician some weeks ago, or well, months ago actually, and had to return some glasses because they were absolutely hopeless. And I began to think, I wonder if they've been in touch with this optician. <laughs> they've given me a bad, you know, bad rap. <laughs> And they're cancelling the appointment. I mean, I, I went on and on all night. I, ridiculous. I know it's ridiculous, but I can't think of a reason. I did the cars. <laughs> I tried a dowsing. I tried everything to get an answer as to why she would want me to cancel the appointment. Oh. So when I thought, well, if I ring up and cancel it, do I really want to cancel it? Or is it my imagination? Am I being guided to cancel it? But it was a human voice and she definitely said, give us a call to let us know to cancel your appointment. Well, unfortunately, I didn't go racing as I could have done in a panic and an anger to the spec savers who had been before to say, have you been giving my private information to somebody? Uh, this is a good lesson. This is a very good lesson to sit on my impatience. And I had to go all night thinking, should I, shan't I, ring them in the morning and have a complaint? So I thought, no, I'll try the other one first and see what they come up with when I ring them to say, what was your message about? Oh, I did do that. I, I left a message the night before to say, what did you mean? I'll ring you in the morning, which I did. Though they had already rung me first of all. So I got a hold of, I got a hold of this woman. She sounded quite different actually. And she said, oh, no, we, we didn't leave that kind of message. We'll see you at half 11. So I really hadn't got a chance to cancel it. I got into such a dither over the whole thing. I thought, well, I've got to go, you know, see it out sort of thing. <laughs> and it was okay. I mean, I hardly could hardly walk from one place to the next. I couldn't walk from the car. I got this fibromyalgia and my, my energies were so low, I couldn't put one foot in front of the other, but it wasn't very far. And whilst I was in town, I went to the fisherman. So, I had one or two jobs that made it worthwhile, if you know what I mean. Then I came home and straight to bed had to lie down to recover. And just now, I thought, let's check the messages again. I've got an answer machine, you can check messages. And it said, you have one and saved a message. <laughs> and it, it was this woman's voice saying, would you please ring us to confirm your appointment tomorrow? No mention of the word cancel. I had definitely heard her say that yesterday. But this was quite an ordinary message. I felt dreadful because I really kind of, when I got there today, I said, you left me a strange message yesterday. They must have thought I was a nut. So it wasn't a cancellation. It was just they do often ring before kind of say, confirm your appointment tomorrow. So I'm left with this now. You can interpret it any way you like. All I'm thinking of is that I was thinking about cancelling. I was thinking about it. And I didn't know what to do. I'm not any good at making decisions. And one of my kind spirits stepped in 
and made the phone call. They can do that. I've had strange phone calls before that come from spirits. Not strange emails yet, that's the next step I guess. But strange calls, I think, where did that come from? Who was that? You know, so that it has happened. Not a lot. <laughs> so I'm thinking, well maybe, maybe they were trying to help me by saying, cancel your appointment. Simple as that, I'm making it complicated. But it didn't, it was, badly timed I think. If I'd got the message in the afternoon, that's interesting, if I got the message in the afternoon would I have heard the same words or did they apply it when I was asleep so I wouldn't get it to the evening. <laughs> I don't know if anybody can resonate with this, honestly it sounds a right mix up but I'm trying to work out what it really means and I do think somebody was trying to tell me cancel it. So. I'm left with that now, I've just played it just now and it, she didn't say that, different voice actually. She said, um, please come ring to give us, com confirm your appointment tomorrow. So I've got let it go, really, I mean that's, I, I know what I heard and I thought by playing a message back I would hear the word cancel, but I didn't. <laughs> but I heard it yesterday. It is difficult, isn't it? You, because I think we, we, I mean we do hear things sometimes that are not there. I, I, we are living in very difficult times. The second little story I want to tell is another weird one. I've just learned something and whether it's true or not, I don't know, but I have got very bad pain in my hips. It really is in the groin. I can hardly walk. It's unbearable. And I do everything I can. I massage, I've got hot water bottles, I've got fibromyalgia, fiber gel, all the stuff. And I usually can calm it down and get some sleep. Well, last night in bed, I can't tell you what you, you have known pain, know what it's like. I tried everything. I was tossing and turning all night when I was worried as well. The pain was unbearable. I thought, it should have stopped by now. I'd taken painkillers. Every now and then, I'd get this sharp stabbing pain. I thought, suddenly a thought came to me. There's somebody, something, causing this, like an attack. Well, it is a kind of psychic attack, but somebody was actually causing the pain because I knew I'd done all I could and it should have calmed down. But there was someone that was actually, I don't know, making it worse. And I said, <laughs> it just sounds silly, but it, it happened. And I said to Lord Michael, I call him Lord Michael because he is, I said, could you, this sounds silly, dear one, but could you please check on the fact that there might be a spirit exacerbating my pain and you know within two minutes it stopped absolutely stopped and I didn't have a twinge in fact not until now really thinking about it and I thought I wonder I wonder if there well there, there must be a spirit for everything and I mean can spirits cause illness can they make them worse is that what illness is all about a spirit just somewhere in there causing a problem. <laughs> Some time ago I had a very nice response from somebody on one of my videos. I, I'm not quite sure what sect she belonged to but she did leave a message. She said I see that you've got a spirit of illness on you. I should have responded. I did respond but I I, I I suppose I panicked a bit. I don't like people knowing too much about me. <laughs> And I thought that was very clever. So there is such a thing as a spirit of illness. So there must be a spirit of pain, a spirit of teeth, a spirit of whatever. And I think Jeshua said, discern ye the spirits. And I think, well, he was casting out demons, wasn't he? So we understand when he was here doing lots of healing. I've asked him to help me, but he hasn't. So maybe you had to learn this. I don't know. So casting out I suppose it means getting rid of dismissing disbanding I did that with my daughter once as well I crossed her arms and I exorcised her when she was in a very bad state that's another story so anyway here we are we <laughs> a mysterious day a mysterious spirit on the telephone that was probably a helpful spirit but this second one was the pain I, I I have to believe it, I was right. Because where did that thought come from? The thought came to me, something is actually making it worse. That thought came to me. So I had to act on it. I'm just going to check. 
had to act on it and I, I'm going to practice, I'm going to do it again. You know, if I get a pain, I should say, get, get the behind me spirit. <laughs> so it's all trial and error really, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to go now. <laughs> I hope it hasn't been too confusing. It is a very strange time and I, I'm a, a very learning curve time of checking things out and trusting things. And I have to trust that although the telephone spirit was helpful, this other one in a way, I got rid of it. I got rid of it. I just, you know, well, Lord Michael got rid of it. So I could try that again, couldn't I, one day? <laughs> All right, then. Well, back to a tennis, I suppose. I look forward to... There was a one, there's a film advertised, Gravity, a good film, that. And it was coming on at half past eight. And this... Oh, I get so frustrated with the television. Every channel has got sport. Football, Wimbledon, something else. I'm being told I all like sport. So the film's not on. So I've got to find something else to do now, and I'm very frustrated. Might go for a little walk. Take care, dear ones. I'm going to all go now then. God bless. Bye for now.